Hi, I am Dr. Gaurav Jain. I am a consultant in internal medicine and I handle endocrinology as well. And today we are talking about COVID vaccines and vaccination is very important. And I do realize that a lot of people are holding back on vaccinating themselves because they are afraid of the side effects of what they have heard about the vaccine. In India, we have two kinds of vaccine. The one is Covishield, the other is Covaxin. Both the vaccines are safe. Both the vaccines are being used in large numbers and very minimal side effects have been seen. Let us understand these vaccines more clearly to understand what works and how it works. So Covishield is a virus that is alive. It is a chimpanzee adenovirus and but it carries in itself the coding for the COVID virus outside shell or the S proteins. So once this virus goes in your system, it infects your system, produces external shells of the COVID virus and basically fools your body into thinking that it is fighting the coronavirus. It does not carry with itself the mortality or morbidity or the side effects of the old coronavirus. Versus that we have Covaxin, which is basically a dead killed virus concentrate, which exposes the body to pre-killed viruses and therefore allows the body to develop immunity. Both of these vaccines take time to develop immunity. It does not happen overnight. It takes at least seven weeks for your body to develop and show antibodies towards the coronavirus after vaccines. So I get a few questions regarding this. Are they safe? Yes, they are safe. Can they be taken by anyone? Pretty much anyone. Are, can diabetics, can patients with heart diseases, patients on blood thinners take them? Yes, they can and no need to stop your Ecosprins or other blood thinners while taking them. Also, there is no need to start additional blood thinners after taking them as well. Also, uh, should a patient already be on Crocin or any kind of antipyretic or anti-allergic while taking the vaccine? The answer is no, unless you do not have any problems, do not take medicines. Medicines are only indicated for people who have symptoms, who have problems. The other question that I get all too often is the fact that whether or not after taking these vaccines, patients develop false positive COVID tests. So a rapid antigen test can be fooled by these vaccines. So a rapid antigen, yes, can be falsely positive. But a COVID PCR or a COVID TrueNAT will not be falsely fooled by this test and it will not show a false positive even if you have been vaccinated. I hope this clears up your understanding of these vaccines. I hope you go ahead, take them and help make India COVID free. Thank you.